This is an RTV6 update, working for you. Hello, I'm Rafael Sanchez with the latest from RTV6. A car blows by a school bus in Greencastle. This is the same dangerous situation that killed three children in Fulton County last year. RTV6's Stephanie Wade speaks with concerned parents and law enforcement to see what they're doing to step up patrols in that area. That video shows a truck blowing by a school bus here along West Walnut Street. A mother tells me her first grade daughter was waiting to board the bus at the time. I shouldn't have to worry about my child being hit by a car when getting on the bus in the morning. It's supposed to be a safe thing for her to be at school or on the bus and it's not. After several close calls, neighbors have started taking videos catching drivers not stopping for school buses when the stop arm is out. One time, Kyla Woodall even had to step in to protect her own daughter. It looked like it was slowing down, but they weren't going to stop. And had I not stepped in the middle of the street, it would have hit her because she went ahead and went because the sign was out and she knew it was her time to go. Putnam County Sheriff authorities tell me people often speed through this area. One deputy followed the school bus this morning and pulled someone over himself. I think one of the biggest issues we find in the morning time is people are late for work or maybe they're just on the phone. I think with the school bus too, a lot of times they don't understand just how dangerous it is and the legal ramifications for running a school bus. The Greencastle Community Schools Superintendent says they share all incidents and any evidence with the police department, including this one. Parents can count on police and sheriff deputies to be out here more often following school buses as much as they can to protect your children. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. The Putnam County Sheriff's Office is still looking for the suspect driving that truck that failed to stop at the school bus. If you recognize it, call the Sheriff's Office immediately. High temperature today in Indianapolis 78. The Wednesday high temperature should be right at 80 degrees. Downhill from there until we're in the 60s, lower 60s for highs on Friday. That will continue through Mother's Day weekend. Chance for rain during the day tomorrow low. It will increase tomorrow night. Most likely time for rain and thunderstorms transition day on Thursday as we have, have, have a high around 70. Then temperatures will cool after that, 62 on Friday. And a slight chance of showers on Mother's Day right now with temperatures in the 60s. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much for more weather and stories that you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.